Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. One of the top questions asked on the channel reference my explain 12 videos and streams is Q8, how do you get your sim to look so sharp, so crisp, and so clear? And the answer to that lies in my in-game settings. Let's take a quick look. After a little bit of research, I figured that the answer to the question lies in my texture quality and rendering resolution settings. As you can see, I have set both of those settings to maximum settings. And this is really the answer uh, to as to how do my sim look very sharp, clear and crisp. But I also realized that many of you who've been asking the question do not have a capable graphics card like I do. I have the 4090, which I can you know, pretty easily set this to maximum without having to worry about VRAM. But I've done a little bit more research to be able to help you guys with a less capable graphics card or a graphics card that does not have as much VRAM. And sure enough, there is a way that you can make x look absolutely great with you know, a very sharp image and very crisp experience by using an NVIDIA control panel feature. Now this feature is hidden by default and so we're going to need to do a little bit of a registry edit in order to enable it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enable image sharpening in the NVIDIA control panel. To do this, follow these steps. First, we are going to type reg edit and we're going to right click and start the registry editor in administrator mode. Next, we are going to copy the following path in the registry editor. The path is available in the video description. You can simply copy it and paste it in the registry editor. Next, we want to look for an entry in the registry that is labeled enable gr 53 Five. Once you locate the entry, enable GR535, you want to double click it. Once you double click it, we're going to change the value data here from 1 to 0. I already have done this step in order to show you guys how to do this. Once you've changed the value to 0, click OK and exit the registry editor. Now let's bring up the NVIDIA control panel. Once the NVIDIA control panel is launched, head over to Manage 3D Settings. You will notice that now you have a new feature, Image Sharpening, and it's currently set to off. Now you can set this feature globally, but I do not recommend this as it will affect all of your games, including Microsoft Flight Simulator and any other game that you're playing. I suggest that you do this from within the program settings for each one of the applications where you want this sharpness to be applied. We're going to go to the program settings tab and as you can see we have explain here selected. Next we're going to select image sharpening. We're going to click that and we're going to turn it on. On the sharpen slider I recommend a value between either 0.50 all the way to 0.71. Leave the ignore film grain exactly where it is. Now for the sharpening, you might need to tweak this a little bit to hit that sweet spot to fit your exact preference, but I found a value between 0.5 to 0.71 is the ideal for x 12. Now we're going to click OK and don't forget to hit the apply button. Now we're going to restart x and take a look at the results. Just for reference, here are things with the texture quality set to maximum with no sharpening. We are back in Explain, but this time I have changed the texture quality to high instead of maximum. And you'll notice that there is no degradation in the image sharpness whatsoever with the sharpening feature turned on. And you can see how the panel is even sharper than what it looked like with just the texture quality being set at max. 
let's go ahead and take off so that you have a good reference. And by the way, this tweak has no effect on FPS whatsoever. You can really notice the sharpness uh, of the panel. And there is absolutely no uh, degradation in performance. Let me switch to external view. And now you can notice the sharpness of the image, uh, including the aircraft fuselage. It really does change the way the sim looks in X-Plane. And you can use this uh, image sharpening in Microsoft Light Simulator as well, but it will introduce some grain into your clouds. So I do not recommend it for Microsoft Light Simulator, but as you can see here in X-Plane, it really does change the sim quite a bit. And you can actually save on VRAM by bringing your slider further down and using image sharpening uh, through the NVIDIA control panel without any loss of FPS and without any plugins whatsoever. Well, folks, this pretty much brings us to the conclusion of this short video. I hope that you have found it useful and insightful, and I hope that it does enhance your experience in x 12. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.